This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Cancer. From December 19th to January 2nd, 2022, we're coming into the new year. And yeah, happy, happy new year and Merry Christmas. And tonight is a full moon. So there's lots going on. All right, we're gonna start with a tea leaf reading. I don't drink tea, I drink coffee. And this is my own personal invention of coffee. I call it, Ra Ra Rasputin. And the reason I call it that, well, if you want to know the reason I call it that, look in the description. There's a recipe to this. Ooh. Some spillage. Whoa. Tons of cups energy there. Looks like you're. Ooh, you might have a couple choices in love. What is this? So you've got, you're pointing to Leo with one of the, the red pebbles, like that's passion. And the lighter one is, it's pointing between Aries and Pisces. But look at that, like, I don't know if you see this. There is, you see that? Everything is on the cups. So that this is all about, it's like you're, you're, you're gonna be dating or celebrating or there's gonna be some sort of social invitation here. Like a little bit is on the sun. So it's kind of like a new beginning and the star. So like there's success here for you. There, you're also at, at a crossroads. I see the the cross there. Do you see that? Maybe if I turn this this way. There, that's better. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. All right, let's get to your reading. <laughs> what do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? We got the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. You're moving into something. Like you're, it's like your intuition is, is pulling you towards something, but you're almost not, you almost haven't claimed something yet. You, you're, you're not, you're not fully there. Let's clarify this Five of Swords. For them, constancy. For you, regrets. You, you, I feel that you're being pulled towards a new life, but that there's, there's this element that you're in still where it's kind of like you, you regret leaving your, you regret leaving the familiar. Something is pulling you here. This is a time that you really need to, to focus on your intuition. Like, let's keep going here. See what this is all about. What, what surprises lay in store for you this in the next two weeks? Eight of Swords, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. You don't see this coming. There, there's a connection, a commitment coming to you. This is you stepping into your power. I feel that you're torn between your old life and your new life, like you're at at this moment here, you don't see this coming yet. Your intuition is telling you it's coming. Let's clarify this 
Eight of so or eight of swords, yeah. For them? The will. For you? Contradictions. Yeah, you, you know what you want, but it's kind of like you're not expecting it, or you think that you can't have it. It's coming to you. You feel it coming to you. You're drawn to this. There's a connection here that's coming to you. This could be pulling you into your power. But it's kind of like there's this whole issue with with you believing that with you ah, what is this? Let's keep going. What does your love interest think of most often when they think of you? Page of Pentacles. The moon. And the strength card. You're separated from this person. I, I don't, there, there's an element of mystery. They see... This is someone that has learned about you. You, the way they view you is, is this strong connection. Like they see you as having this courage, this strength in you. I feel this person sees something in you that you don't see. Let's clarify the strength energy. For them, merits. For you, consideration. This is you. Like, this. I'm getting drawn to the figure eight here. Like, it's. To me, that this seems like a, a DNA structure. Like it's kind of like you're you're going through a glorification. Your DNA is being enhanced somehow. It's almost like the way that this person sees you. Like like they see you in your glory. You, you're still in the process of really claiming it. Like, like for you, you don't see how strong you are. It's, it's almost like this sense where it's, you don't realize who you are yet. They see you for who you are. They see you. It's like you're, I'm getting the sense. I'm getting the sense that your chakras might be aligning. Like it's this, it's this glow up that I'm, I'm seeing you going through. Like your whole re reality is shifting somehow. I don't understand how it's, how it's happening here for you because it, it's like, this is, a, this is what happens when someone believes in themselves. But it's like you're, you're, you're doing everything not to believe this. Certainly, you must be seeing this. Like, like, you must be getting more attention from the people around you. Like, but you're not standing up straight. But you, I don't know what this is. The way they see you, they, they, is good. How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? Yeah, we saw that cups. Like, like this is dating. This is the start of a relationship here. It, we saw it in the tea leaf reading. How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? You are separated. Or at least they're not telling you how they see you. The hermit. 
You are separated. Nine of Wands, yeah. Seven of Swords. What? This is interesting. They see you. They see you. I see you doing something that, that you don't think you should do. You need to, I feel you need to embrace this energy here. And the way you embrace this energy is by, it, it, it's like you, you put your boundaries towards them. It's almost like you're pulling away. It's kind of like, it, it, this is telling me that, that the way you step into the, this energy is by believing in yourself. That's what you need to do. You need to believe that, that, and you don't want to believe in yourself. That's, that's what's taking place. That's why you're at this crossroads between this old life and this new life. Like you're, you're seeing this new life. Your intuition is telling you that it's coming. The way you, I feel the way, I feel what this reading is telling us is the way you step into this is by doing something against your old nature. This, this is about you putting boundaries up. Let's clarify this, this nine of wands, because they're definitely on the outside. This is someone who has interest in you. For them? Understanding for you. Oh, second card. Opportunities. There's going to be an opportunity here for you. It's, it's like you're, you're transcending yourself into this, this radiant, this beautiful, this attractive energy. And the way you do that is by, by believing in yourself, doing something that is against your old nature. I feel it. I feel what you used to do was you used to you used to sacrifice. You know, the nine of wands can mean two things. It can mean, you know, personal sacrifice, but it can also mean putting up boundaries. The way you prepare it is by putting up boundaries to them. This is someone who's already interested in you. Like I feel the way you step into this new you is by believing in yourself. Instead of trying to push things to make make them happen, you you pull away. You it's it's like you attract what you want by pulling away, letting them chase you. This person understands what they'll need to do. Opportunities coming up. In the extended, we'll look into what's the biggest obstacle that's come between you and this love interest in the present. This is going to be interesting. What are the new opportunities opening up for you at this time? I swear to God, I don't read these questions. I hit a button, the computer generates them, and I don't even look at them before I start the reading. What are the new opportunities opening up for you at this time? Is there anything you could do to help this connection with this love interest? These questions, what's the significance for you having this connection with this love interest? These questions are perfect for what you're going through here. You're being activated somehow. And I don't feel it's coming from you. It's almost like you're not seeing this. This is coming from your fifth dimensional self. All right. The link for the extent is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.